What's going on guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys a light that I found on Amazon for 20 freaking bucks. I decided to, you know, go ahead and purchase it so I could review it for you. Just in case you were looking for a small light that you can use either in your videos or as practicals or even in your YouTube videos. Now, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. Now, this little light I found on Amazon by this company called Ulanzi. This is a bicolor. LED video light, and there was other options for RGB as well. So now let's not waste any time. Let's get right into the unboxing. Um, so first of all, the box is a pretty good quality, but you know, a lot of the times you can't let that fool you. So let's just go ahead and pop it open. And right off the bat, you get to see the light, which comes in a little wrapper. The light comes with a frost cover that you could just throw over it as a diffusion. Oh, and it's also magnetic. The LEDs inside the light look a little cheapish, but for $20, what can you expect, right? And as we continue, in the box, there's a USB-C to USB cord and a manual, probably with warranty. And then, as they promised, you get your colored gels inside of the box as well i don't know if this comes with it but this is a mini tripod leg that comes with the light so just in case you want to use it as like a tabletop lamp that is perfect for that it's hard plastic and it feels pretty sturdy it feels like an actual tabletop oh and it extends see that's what's up it only has one step so it's either it's all the way extended or it's all the way closed and as far as the light itself in the back of the light you have a few buttons that comes with it unfortunately there's no app that comes with this light so you're just gonna have to do everything manually right here is the USB-C charger you have the power button right under it and this right here it looks like a battery labeled button I don't know what that is for but I'll check it out in a bit and then you have your Kelvin your plus Kelvin and your negative Kelvin. And then you have your brightness controls on the left side. And on the top here, you have a little LED panel. Let's turn the light on to see what's going on with it. It seems like you have to press and hold the light to turn it on. And immediately, this thing is pretty freaking bright. It's super bright, actually. It's only five steps to get to, I'm guessing 10% to 100%. So I guess they divide that, but it gets really bright as you can see. Then let's play with the Kelvin. It's only five steps as well for the Kelvin. So warm to cool, very cool. So that's very interesting. You could use that as practicals for your videos. I thought it was a pretty good deal. So I bought two of them. I have one of them on my upper side right here. It's kind of giving me a little kick to the back of my neck. It seems like it has cold shoes mounted on the top side of it, on the right side and on the left side of it. So that way you could daisy chain these lights together to give you a more powerful solution. So now let's try the RGB gels that comes with it. Now you have a green gel, yellow gel, an orange gel, red gel, blue gel, and T-Mobile pink <laughs> gel. So essentially you're just going to put it in here, I'm guessing. And then after that, you close that on top of it. Hopefully that's how it works. Now let's turn it on. Oh, that's freaking saucy. Love it. Love it. It definitely cuts out the power a little bit, but for the most part, it's pretty bright enough for what you want to do. I mean, I'm feeling this, honestly. I just figured out what the battery button does. If you press it, it shows you how much battery life you have left on this this has an internal battery in it so you don't have to switch out any batteries you just got to recharge it what i did was i bought a usb extender so that way i could run the wires and position the light wherever i want to and have some freedom and then not worrying about the light dying on me i'm gonna turn this off for now but all in all i'm happy to see what this light is capable of i love the colors that's coming out of it i think if you need practical lights i feel like that's a really good alternative for 20 bucks, you can't beat it, and it has pretty good color accuracy, so it seems. I'm definitely thinking about buying uh, another one or two, so that way I could just use for my YouTube studio and my YouTube setup. 
um, and potentially even taking it on shoots with me and using it as like some accent lights or just like a small little light I could fit in somewhere just to give me a little bit of depth in the scene. If you find this video valuable, go ahead and hit me with that thumbs up. And if you guys are thinking about purchasing this, the link is down below. And also the extension wire that I got for this light is also down below. You guys can go ahead and check this out. Thank you guys for watching this video. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you can see tons of videos like this. And until next time, I'll see you guys on my next one. Deuces.